We're in the shop today. Stella has just figured out that I'm filming, so she's taken off. And look at this little parade of microcars that I have with me. What a blessing. What a great day to be alive, to be able to work on these little cars and enjoy them. And, and uh, I've been having a lot of fun. Um, and you guys have as well, because I can relate to a lot of your comments. I read each and every one of them. And I know that some people are sick of Subaru 360 videos. Haven't done a lot of videos on this BMW Isetta that I'm working on. It's very colorful. It's very cute. And it's getting some work done now. So you'll probably see a few videos, videos on that in the future. But although these cars are all really cute and fun and part of my livelihood, we've got something else I want to show you today. Something, something, how do you say, a sentimental attachment? Uh, end of an era, uh, end of a good time. Stella's out here gazing lovingly at our 1988 S10 pickup, which has been with me for a long time. And it's sadly, uh, and maybe not so sadly, going to a new owner. So just having the truck around has been weird. Uh, people make offers on it um, quite often. And I succumbed recently to one of my customers I think she's really going to like it. She's a gardener, and um, she's going to take good care of it. She's got really good karma. This truck has been with me since 1994. I picked it up in the Thrifties ad of the Oregonian newspaper. That's how long ago. It was before the internet. And you can see it's beat up a little bit. It's got a bent bumper. The part's missing out of the grill. It has a dent on every panel. And I've done a few videos on it and this summer I really needed it and I thought about it a lot and I did the two-tone paint job and did different sets of wheels and tires. First I bought a set of craggers, then a set of slots, and now the white walls. And it's going to go to the new owners with the white walls. They're brand new. They only have 10 miles on them. The truck's been good to me and my family over the years. Like I said, I got it in 1994 from a rice wholesaler in northwest Portland. Um, an Asian man, he had bought it brand new. It still has the Wentworth Chevrolet. You can see the paper tags. I don't know if you can see those or not. There's paper tags beneath the license plates that say Wentworth Chevrolet, which the frame used to say that as well, um, which is still in business, and that's pretty cool. Um, it has 194,000 miles on it. It is a automatic with a V6. 2.8 liter short bed and uh, it's it's had a bit of a rough life when I got it the engine had froze in other words cracked the intake and the radiator was split and the windshield was completely smashed and I, like I said I got it out of thrifties I fixed that stuff up fixed the engine up gave it to my mom while I was rebuilding her Volvo uh, engine it took me a couple years so she drove this uh, for her teaching job back and forth for many, she commuted back and forth many, many years. And then she gave it back to me and then my brothers, they wrecked it, they left the door open, it rolled down a hill and the door folded backwards over the fender um, while they were loading firewood in it. And so I put on a new door and then I painted it this summer. You can see the paint doesn't quite match. The blue is a little deeper on the door. That's actually the factory color and the rest of the truck is sort of faded, but it looks okay. Um, I put a new stereo in it. I cleaned up the interior. I'll just show you a little, a little bit here. This is our saying farewell, goodbye. Let me pull this out because that's annoying. It's got a nice Bluetooth stereo with high power. I've polished, cleaned the dash. It has a rubber floor mat. That's right, it's a basic truck. Bench seat, rubber floor mat, does have a dome light and then also courtesy lights in each one of the footwells. I'm going to open the hood here and show you what's there. Just simple gauge package. Nothing but a speedometer and a fuel gauge. And then just idiot lights when you turn the key. I don't think it has an overheat light. I'm not sure how that works. No air conditioning. No airbags. No power windows. In fact, it doesn't even have intermittent wipers. It has just low and high. Just a simple, simple truck. It's really refreshing to look at this dash. It doesn't even have a lighter or a power port. It's plugged off. 
has the vents that you pull underneath here to get fresh air, which opens that little vent down there to blow cool air on your feet in the summertime. You don't see that anymore. Um, just a simple, simple truck. I think I mentioned no air conditioning. Headliner is falling down a little bit. The seat is a little worn. The seat belt doesn't retract anymore. But that's all part of the course. It's um, not rusty in any way, shape, or form. We don't have rust here in Oregon. So it's in, well, I should say there's a little bit of rust at the beginning of the bed there, just from the mat. That's it. There's no rust on the body whatsoever. It's very clean underneath. And I think I popped the hood. Let's take a look under here. Yeah, I did. Oh, get that prop right up there. Okay. So we have a little 2.8 liter V6. Very good on fuel mileage. I average about 25 miles per gallon. I don't hot rod it at all. But it's got a, a 700 R4 or 200 R4. I think it's a 200 R4 transmission. It has a very, very tall overdrive. So it seems like it goes down the highway at like 1500 RPM, which is pretty neat. Um, it just gets excellent mileage and um, has a little bit of zip too. It's just very smooth because it's a six cylinder. You can see it does have power brakes. Just a basic heater, simple alternator, does have power steering, and um, just really, 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 really bare bones. I think it has an air pump, yep. Still has original Kelly converter, original exhaust system, spare tires up underneath the, the bed. But this is sort of a sad day, in a sense. It's farewell for this little guy. It's been with me a long time. It's helped me move many times and move a lot of household goods, washers, dryers, junk runs, scrap metal. Stella loves riding in it. It's been a great old truck and um, it's going down the road. It uh, <laughs> is in the best shape that it's ever been in. It's all tuned up. All the fluids are changed and I wish the new owner well. So this is it. All right, um, I'm gonna get a little emotional here, uh, really, but um, I'm gonna miss this little truck. But it needs to move on, it needs to go to a new home. I've got other vehicles that I can drive and I'm always toying with something new. So I'm glad that this is going to a new home. Stella, what do you think? Stella, what do you think? It's going to a new home. You're not gonna ride in that truck anymore. Finally got all her hair out of there and uh, it's all cleaned up and ready to go. So, all right, adios, little truck. We'll see you in the next life. I'm sure I'll probably service you at some point, so we'll stay in touch. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.